the square and the compass. The square that got us the square and the compass that got us the circle, the 2D. The square that got us the cube and the circle that got us the sphere, the 3D. 1597, Mysterium Co Cosmographicum, Johannes Kepler's conception, based upon Copernican system, he proposed the distance between the planets was represented by the planet Platonic solids enclosed within a sphere which represented the orbit of Saturn. The 4D in the 3D.
Jack in the Box in 2D, Jack in the Box in 3D, Jack out of the Box in 4D, Circle, Triangle, Square, Circle, Triangle, Square, Jack out of the Box. Out of the box. It can't be helped, but there's a lot of it about the hypercube, the tesseract, the tesseract, four D. D-Wave Quantum Computers Computing the Fourth Dimension Albert Einstein, 1905. He introduced through the theory of relativity the concept of the fourth dimension, time, space, or time and space. 1905, Albert Einstein, 95, 41, 121, and 49. 41 is the 31st prime, or sorry, the 13th prime. 1331 is cube. 121 is 11 squared and 49 is 7 squared. 7, 11 squared. The Almighty God, the cube in Einstein. The first fruits unto God, Albert Einstein, 90 and 90, 225, 225. And what was the fruit offered up by Albert Einstein? General theory of relativity. The hour of his judgment has come. 315, 135, 135. The fourth dimension, time space. Vortex math, a mathematical algorithm calculating the fourth dimensional aspect of a sphere known as the hypersphere. Simple math of doing one times two, and it's just a doubling repeatable algorithm. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 8 is 16. We want single digits, so 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14, 1 plus 5 is, uh, uh, sorry, 2 times 7 is 14, 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10, 1 plus 0 is 1, and then we repeat and what's interesting about that, we leave the 3, 6, and 9, which gives us our symbolism, which we see clearly written out in Volkswagen. And then in the red and the blue on the top part of the not showing Volkswagen, we get the Freemason symbol right over top. So what is this vortex math all about? What is the hypersphere all about? It's about the 4D sphere. So we looked at uh, the Tesseract and the cube and the 4D cube, the cube within a cube. Well, meet the hypersphere. The sphere within a sphere. The gateway, the portal, the sphere. Sphere, 71, 35, 91, 28. Future. 91, 28, 71, and 35, a direct 4 for 4, just in different ciphers. 
And this is about, as Albert Einstein introduced, time, space, space, 44, 17, 71, 91, 91, 28, 28. This is about a stargate, a gateway and a portal. Stargate, 91, 91, 28, 28, 53, 35. Gateway, both 28, 28s and both 35s. And we take a look at this and we apply it because this is telling us the sphere is representing the future of space and time. The stargate and the gateway are portals. They're portals to the fourth dimension, the 4D, the hypersphere. We're going through, into, to contact, to get information from the fourth. For what purpose? Stargate Atlantis. I've been teaching about how Atlantis is a reference to Babylon fully established in the past before the flood and how the flood has come as a judgment upon Atlantis or Babylon. Well, we can see here Stargate Atlantis with the symbolism of the Stargate, with the Stargate being the fourth dimensional hypersphere, the portal into the fourth dimension, and we have the flood coming down upon them from behind, and we have Atlantis, the reference to Babylon, and the pyramid with the eye on top. Stargate Atlantis, the gateway. And that's the gateway that CERN is doing in real life, the 666, the vortex math done by CERN, which equates to technological machinery designed to contact, to break through to the fourth dimension, to access the sphere within the sphere. And if you're not familiar with the Gotthard Tunnel that was opened up, uh, connecting uh, CERN and the scientists. And it was a pretty weird ceremony. Uh, a lot of symbolism in the sphere, in the circle, and as a gateway, as a portal. And uh, what is in there with the eye representation and the spiritual flying. And we got more eye symbolism and bodies laying around. We get this goat man thing with the three scarabs. And it's all about contacting through the portal. It's contact. It's about getting through to the fourth dimension, piercing that final barrier, the fourth dimension. And we can see here that contact is using a sphere. And that sphere is in a pentagon, a pentagon uh, formation just like we saw exactly in the Mysterium uh, Cosmographic uh, Cosmographicum, it's the same representation of the Platonic solids wrapped around the sphere, and they're dropping it into the sphere in order to break through. And it's also interesting, Star Trek, we saw the Borg references, and how in season three, we get this interesting symbolism here, which is a symbolism on a religious uh, connotation to now there was one leaning on Jesus's bosom, uh, one of his disciples whom Jesus loved. So why are they symbolizing? Why are they saying they love this season so much? It's because this whole season is wrapped around how the Borg, so I wanted, again, even the Borg shows this, uh, the center, when Borgs blow up, they have a sphere center. And this Enterprise uh, Season 3 is all based around sphere builders who are creating uh, and distorting a portion of space and making it unable to be uh, inhabited by anybody but them, killing off the people currently living there and making it so no one else can move in except them. They're setting up their new world order in that section of the galaxy and so it only becomes inhabitable by them. They came to get rid of the light. The powers that be. The compass in the square. The circle. The square. The cube. And the sphere. CERN. 
CERN. Wherever uh, this finds you, I hope it finds you well. God bless.